Certainly society in general and the church in a particular way also have a responsibility for the education <coughs> of children and young people. But that responsibility must always be exercised with respect for the primary responsibility of parents. Parents, for their part, should be fully engaged in whatever service of education is provided by service, by society and the church. Children and young people should not be confused or led into error by an education outside of the home which conflicts with the education given in the home. Today, parents must be especially vigilant for sadly in some places, schools have become the tools of a secular agenda inimical to the Christian life. One thinks, for example, of the, so -called of the compulsory so-called gender education in some schools, which is a direct attack, attack on marriage at its foundation and therefore on the family. For the sake of our young people, we must all give particular attention to the fundamental expression of our culture, which is education. Good parents and good citizens must be attentive to the curriculum which schools are following and to the life in the schools in order to assure that our children are being formed in the human and Christian virtues and are not being deformed by indoctrination in the confusion and error concerning the most fundamental truths of human life and of the family which will lead to their slavery to sin and therefore profound unhappiness and to the destruction of our culture. Today, for example, we sadly find the need to speak about traditional marriage as if there were another kind of marriage. There is only one kind of marriage as God has given it to us at the creation and as Christ has redeemed it by his saving passion and death. 